you became a post instructor, instructor mm -hmm. 2009 to 2019. And you were telling me your, your basically your favorite subject to teach was effective communication. So talk a little bit about that. What, what were you teaching these guys and gals uh, at post in terms of effective communication? Well, I think that for me, I love that because I really feel uh, when you can talk to people, talk to people, not order people, not scream at people, but when you can talk. Now, there's a time for that. There is a time for that to, you know, be direct, but uh, firm, fair, and consistent. But um, when you learn how to communicate to people, when you learn how to watch body language, when you learn to watch what they're doing, when you learn to listen to what they're saying, like when you look at their eyes, there's a whole lot to effective communication besides your, your being able to speak. Mm -hmm. So by the way, I, my demeanor is tells the people a lot of things, Yeah, you know, the way I get out of the car, the way I approach a situation, what I say, what I do, everything. So, I love teaching at the academy. I thought that everybody loved my class. All the people that went through my class loved it. But what I would do is I would bring a lot of my, because the body camera is one of the best things ever invented for the cops. It, it just really was. I was against it at first, but I think it was probably one of the best tools we've ever gotten. So well, why uh, do you think that? Uh, I stopped a lot of people accusing cops of doing things they never did okay. or saying things that they never did, yeah. you know, because you would always get these parents when you arrest a kid or whatever for whatever. Oh, my kid wouldn't do that, really. Well, <laughs> let's let's play the video. Oh, who's, you know, who who's that? Yeah. Acting like that. Yeah. Mm, okay. So now it stops all, all of that. And then the criminal also or the suspect also um, was aware that you were wearing a body camera. So now they know they're on camera. So how they act and what they do is also being recorded. So it would calm a lot of things down. It's kind of funny. You'd have your camera on and they'll start out like, you know, <laughs> like that. And then they forget that they have, the, that we have the camera on and then, <laughs> you know, all crazy, but. Let me, let me ask you this. I've never asked anybody this, but because of the communication skills uh, specifically that you taught, do you, if I went back and, and just polled or talked to a whole bunch of people you dealt with, mm -hmm. whether it was tickets or you actually arrested them or everything, what do you think they would say? Oh, I already know what they would say. <laughs> Because on my, what we'll talk about later, I have ran into a lot of those people, a lot of them. Um, and it's, it's, I am proud of the fact that these people I have arrested many times and hundreds, if not thousands of people I arrested, um, I'd say 90% of them will all come up to me, give me a hug, tell me hello, cross the street to say hi to me, you know, and uh, when I was in Plummer here just recently, a couple of them come up, they put their hands behind their back and are, okay, Tabby, I'm ready, you know, but they'll all tell me, and they've told me before, like, you never disrespected us. You always treated us like a human being. You listened to what we had to say. Um, and you, you did your job. You did your job. And, and, and a lot of them said, I saved their life. So a lot of them said that a lot of them said, if you had not taken the time, and I think that's part of the problem with today's world cop, we don't want to take time with anybody. We're here. We take care of it. We're done. We're gone. Yeah. We don't take time. And I, I get, I get, we're busy. Uh, <laughs> I get that. And yet are we, are we so busy that we can't take a, you know, extra five minutes to listen to what they have to say. So don't misunderstand me. I wasn't always, you know, a <laughs> shining star there, but what I can say, I did not disrespect people. I did not. I yeah. never made fun of them. I never degraded them. Never, never. Cause why? That's, that's not going to help me. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but I do. I have had a lot of people. I have one guy over there too. He comes up and he goes, Hey, Tommy, remember the time you smashed my face on the hood of that pickup? <laughs> yeah. 
I do remember that. <laughs> he goes, yeah, but I was all drunk and high, so I deserved it. Yeah. You know, and this is years later. So. Yeah, I mean, that's a real that's a real testament to the fact of the way that you actually treated people is to have those people come back to you years later and not have any bad blood against you. No, no, there's only been very few that have had, you know, bad blood. Mm -hmm. And that's just the way they are. They didn't like me anyway, so it didn't matter what I did to them. So, and I didn't do anything to them. They're the ones that broke the law. Right. I just was doing my job. Right. So... Uh, but yeah, it, it makes me proud to know that I, um, I did, or I believe I did a good job, but getting back to the communication thing, I would take my videos, a lot of my, you know, pretty crazy videos, uh, from my body camera and I would show them in class and I would show them, okay, I want you to write, you know, this is what I would do. I, I want to show you this clip right here. It's like 10 minutes long. I want you to tell me how you're going to deal with this guy. Like, what are you going to do? You know, they, you might get guys that are, he's seeing spaceships and, and he's telling you no, and he's smoking his cigarette and, and he's, he's wet. And yet he's talking about the, he worked for the CIA and he's like, it's like, okay, how are you going to deal with this guy? You know, and I would, I would show, I had several, I showed one particular one, but several um, constitutionalists, you know, sovereign citizens, mm -hmm. don't have to have a driver's license, mm -hmm. don't have to have a license plate, don't have to have this. Don't have, and I have one fairly good one that I, you could tell I w had had it with him. <laughs> Bam, hit the hit his stuff on top of the roof. I said, get out of the car. No, I don't have to get out of the car. I said, either get out of the car or you're going to be helped out of the car <laughs> and he he oh you're scaring me you're scared i'm like i'm five foot four dude you're a lot bigger than i am so you know it's funny but he got out of the car yeah. yeah yeah it was kind of funny so i don't know but you know i also have a lot of guys and again i dealt with thousands of people like and i know that you probably go no you didn't this is a small area yes i did you know a 24 year career is that's a lot of people. And so, but I have people that will come up to me in the random places and they'll go, Hey, Tammy. And I'll look at them like, Oh crap. <laughs> Where do I know you from? Yeah. And how do I know you? Like, um, so, but there I'll, I'll hear them. They'll be like, Hey, remember that time you kicked my ass? Like, I'm like, you're six foot three. How did I, God, would you took me down so fast? I didn't even know what happened. I'm like, I'm sorry, dude. I don't remember. But he goes, oh, no, all's good. I was doing something stupid, he said. So I was just like, well, oh, okay. But I look at him now and I think I did what? You know, but yeah. they're not making it up. You know, it happens. So it's kind of funny.